Hi everyone, you're with Kareen from The Crew Coach and I'm here to talk to you about belief systems. So the most common belief system that I've heard is I'm not good enough. And why I want to address this with you today is because it is most likely that your belief systems are keeping you stuck. And in order to be free from those belief systems, you need to understand where they come from. So just to give you a little bit of background where belief systems stem from, it's usually from our childhood, our upbringing, and this can be through our role models, our caregivers, our teachers, our parents, or the circle of friends that we are surrounded by, or our community. So we as children look up to these people as role models and we expect that the way they do things is the right way and so we may adopt some of these beliefs as our own and we don't have the skill or the insight to challenge these beliefs and identify whether it is a valid or helpful belief or a unhelpful belief so usually what happens as we grow up, we become adults, is that we hold on these belief systems and we believe they're true and therefore we see the world through that particular belief system. So let's look at the belief system, I'm not good enough. And let's say that at school you were bullied, you were ostracized, you were made fun of and you were excluded from the group activities. So what happened was this started instilling a belief system that I'm different, I'm not okay, I'm not good enough. And as you grow up, you carry this belief system through. So the way in which you see the world, you internalize, I'm not good enough. So let's say any negative events that happen, negative situations, you go back to your belief system, I'm not good enough. And until you can recognize that the way you are behaving and feeling and thinking is all connected to this belief system, then you will only be able to change it. And changing it requires work. So if you have particular goals, whether it is relationship goals, career goals, personal life goals, and you feel like you're stuck and you can't achieve these goals, it's likely that it is connected to a core belief, an unhelpful belief system. And in order to shake this belief system and formulate a new belief system, you do have to do deep inner work. And there might be a little bit of psychotherapy involved in that, but it is so important to address it because it will trip you up if you don't. So what I want you to do is think about some of those belief system systems that you might have that you feel is true to you. And then I want you to think about what will happen or how will your life change if you let go of these belief systems. Then I want you to think about how you can challenge these belief systems. And a way in which you can do this is looking for the evidence. So I want you to think about all the times that you felt that you were good, not good enough and the reasons behind that. Then I want you to think about all the times where you did feel good enough and the reasons or evidence to support that. Now, a therapy, a modality that I use is cognitive behavioral therapy. And this is an evidence-based therapy and is very effective in extinguishing these unhelpful belief systems. So if you think about your belief system, you are naturally going to have a thought that's connected to that belief system. So for example, if you believe I'm not good enough and you walk down the street and you see in the distance someone that you know and they do not acknowledge you, you are most likely going to think that they are purposely ignoring me, they don't like me, um, 
there's something wrong with me. So that will connect to your belief system. Then that is, will subsequently affect how you feel about yourself. So if you're having all these thoughts permeating in your mind, then you're going to feel sad, lonely, hurt, disappointed, all those feelings. And then your behavior is going to be connected to how you're thinking and how you're feeling. So some people might self-medicate, which means they might have a drink or they might isolate even further. Um, so there's a whole range of different behaviors that can happen as a result of your belief system. And yeah, even formulating goals, goals are so, so important. And it is likely that you're not achieving your goals because your belief system is getting in the way. So yeah, highly recommend that you do this work on yourself and identify the belief systems that are tripping you up. Okay, hope that was helpful. I will connect with you guys soon. Bye.